Richard Arbizo from the 310 says, Tomlin kept us in this game, if anything. LOL. Uh, uh, I don't know. Clock, it? clock yeah. management and the challenges. Who'd you say this was Still from? Still not great. Who? I, who's Richard the, Arbiza. Bro, I do not see that joint at all. I don't, I don't know. know why we challenged that one. It was a clear catch as soon as, soon as they showed the replay. And then uh, there's always just some clock management stuff I always question mm-hmm. late in the games. Like, why are we taking the time out here? Like, this this isn't adding up. Why are we running the ball, wasting 30 seconds? Just pass it. We, we gained four yards, but the, we, the, the clock is the thing that's against us right now. But it... Ultimately, it, those things didn't kill us, but I could see in another game, another scenario where you look back on decisions like that and be like, "Man, this this kind of cost us." It didn't in this in this case, though. Um, I think Tom did his date, man. Was he perfect? No, I think a lot of dudes out there wasn't per or weren't perfect either. But I guess if we highlight the clock management situation and we highlight that as his negatives i would also have to highlight the fact that he trusted justin fields trusted arthur smith has coached up the offense defense special teams enough to valiantly fight back be more motivated show more effort and fight in the second half than in the first half make little adjustments as well from a defensive standpoint along with actually like i said getting stops in the second half scoring on offense yeah they could go both ways. Yeah. So I could dig it. I could dig it. Oh, yeah. No doubt he gets. Yeah. Credit yeah, for like, yeah, yeah. Close. I just look at it both ways, man. Yeah. I think you can critique our start. Definitely. I think you can critique some of the lapses on defense in the second half when the offense finally started to get it going. The mm-hmm. defense couldn't get off the field on third down. So, I mean, you blame the players, blame Tom and what, whatever. I, I mean, I do think we tightened up in the second half, though. Yeah. And then we ultimately did get that final stop to give the offense the ball back for that final drive so you got to give credit there too i mean overall i mean i think tomlin he tried to make the most of a bad situation and this is why i'm not categorizing it as a tomlin loss because in the past these last two years a game like this it'd be over in the third quarter and you would just be like wow that was just such a terrible loss we look like the worst team in the league i can dig that yeah i guess this one gave me hope yeah i look at it like this um because i know Some people say, oh, man, the team was flat. I didn't get that they were flat. That was not my perception of it. Um, I just felt like we had some untimely or just bad time misses from a defensive standpoint and some mental errors as well Well, that led to touchdowns. Some of the the stuff that the players are doing, you can't be putting on time. I'm like, we could put that or coaches if we want to, but you could rep it a thousand times in practice if the guy gets in there and blows it. <clears throat> whether that is the call pre-snap post-snap offense and defense really nothing you're gonna be able to do about that outside of holding the player accountable reprimanding them or what you're gonna bench them with some of the players that we're talking about that did have some of the issues that i saw on tape it's like man these dudes were the same guys that were making plays for us also same guys that low-key could have even had even more impact man but you know that's how i look at it i think like all of these guys had a hand in it, man. But just like you said, man, it's a lot of positive in this still, though. I think how the chat is categorizing it might be fair. They say it's a deke loss. Mm. Mike T says that. Jay Mood says that. That might be fair. I think every time I'm, I'm shit talking a team the way that I did the Colts. <laughs> And I put some money, like some some big time money, on the game, and I'm like, this is an investment. I'm just gonna be doubling my money here. We lose. No, don't don't put that on yourself, D. No, every don't time that, that happens, yourself, we man. lose. Don't every time that happens, I think it's only happened two times to that degree, where where it's that combination of me talking some shit, me me saying like, hey, yeah, this man. team's no good. There's no, this is the hey. perfect matchup for us. But then also putting the money on. He said the Whenever money, you combine those two, that's the double. It's the a double. Deep loss. So if you just did money and no talk is okay, or right. talk and no money, right. but both, yep. ah, <laughs> I like it. A deep defeat. <laughs> hey, shout a out to the whole Deke. Deke said, "Bro, I'll be self aware. I'm not leaving a stone unturned." He said, "What did I do wrong?" Shout out to you, bro. Yeah, I think the Texans game was the only one I did that last year. 
You, you, you know what, Deke? I follow suit because you, you. No, I did it in the Cardinals game too. Uh-oh. So you know what? Uh-oh. There you go. Respect. There you go. That's three. That's zero and three in Deke, games that I've done. Deke, that. it's all right, Deke. I let us down too, because I should have definitely talked more about Deo Adiyingbo. That's the other pass rusher that was had the multiple sacks, crushed Justin Fields on the first one. They called it. I back. still don't even know who he is. Exactly, man. But I should have talked about him more because just like Quiddy Pay, he was also coming off of a eight sackish season, and I didn't think that he was going to have that type of success against us. But obviously, he did. So that's my fault. I should have talked about him a little bit. I talked about a lot too late too, though. So, but yeah, that was on me. So, so you know, we both are at, we both are at fault, man. We'll bounce back next week. Deke gonna be better. I'll be better. Y'all be better too, okay? We're all gonna hold ourselves accountable. I might not be because <laughs> Cowboys at home Sunday night after a th- loss like that. I think we're gonna be coming out guns blazing. Let's go. Let's I go. I think the energy is gonna be high. I like it. I like it. But yeah, we'll wait till we get there for the Thursday pod. Any health concerns? Mmm. A lot of Justin Fields is playing like that. All right. Because the defense should bounce back. They should. We hopefully can return to some sort of mean because if we were super high those first three weeks, I think this got to be the worst that it's going to be this season. I, I'd like to think. I would like to think. Because defense, we're still – I think we're healthy on defense, right? It's the sure. O-line that we're really banged up with. Because they said it, James it, Daniels it, got Justin the torn feels, Achilles now, man. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I know the yeah. uh, the airlines, but that that's why I brought up if Justin Fields is playing like that, I think we we can manage. Hopefully, Sam Alu's back. Yeah, we're just gonna have to deal with McCormick or Spencer Anderson, at right guard. We could always trade for Dotson. I thought you don't want to give up assets, though. Huh? Who said that? I, I mean, I, we've been talking about trading for a receiver, but we've been kind of backing off of it too because we don't want to mess up what we got. We like the flow. We got to give up something to get him, though. I just know uh, he's a good right guard. I, I know he knows how to play that position. What would you be willing to give up for? If they say, we want a receiver. Because our receivers out here in LA are hurt. And he's <laughs> already our second. He's a, you know, he's a second contract guard already, so I need somebody that's, you know, worth it. They could take on it. <laughs> See, you try to hustle somebody, man. <laughs> Honestly? Yeah, something like a second round pick, because we could have dots in the long term because he just signed that deal. Yeah, we move off of Daniels after this offseason. Like, Unfortunately, you're have like to give up something. Yeah, nice, with man. him getting that Achilles, if we brought in dots and Dotson's the guy going forward. Okay, bring him back, bring back the old six niner. I don't think anyone took his number. It's still Good there. Good show. Good show. It's retired. Unofficially retired. <laughs> Let's go. All right, I'll say. Uh, Actually, I'm done with the shout-outs. But say, I thought it was over here on the, uh, on the Supers, man. I didn't click the button over here, my bad. Yeah. Hey, shout-out to y'all that's rocking with us today. Hit that like button one time for the culture. Don't forget to subscribe. Richard Arbiza said, a team loss. Can't blame Coach or anyone else or anyone alone. Yeah, I would agree. Multiple factors, man. Um, like I said, there are some parts where we can't talk Coach Tomlin. Like you said, some of the clock management. But that, that didn't cost us. About? It didn't cost us at all because we ended up we scoring touchdowns on those field, plays. The, or those the decision to punt versus kicking a field goal on the opening possession. I think we were around the 40-ish. Would that have been like a, almost a 60? Yeah. Okay. In yeah, yeah, yeah. the the way we've been using How about him, Roger, the way we've been don't playing get a penalty there. Well, that as well. And we understand that refereeing is going to happen. You can have some calls go your way, some not go your way. But, you know, I get that part. Um, if they wanted to bring up yeah, the Colts being more aggressive early on in the game, you could put that on coaching as well, sure. Um, and then in terms of the players, yeah, it was blame to go around, whether we talking quarterback at times, receivers at times, O-line at times, D-line at times, unfortunately, my linebackers at times, inside and out, and then my secondary. Yeah, across the board, everybody had some, some issues. I think the only one – might have been Boz. Special teams was good. I think that's the Waitman only part. Yeah, well. he punted well. Calvin Austin, nice Big little Big return. return. Flip, flip the field for us. And Boz hit on all his. So, yeah. Danny Smith. Shout good. out to Danny, man. Hey. I'm scared. <laughs> Shout out to Danny Smith, man. So, I'm like, that might have been the best element, but we did have a penalty up there. Remember, I think it was JPJ had the uh, hold on the uh, the punt return that we had. It, it, we, I want to say we fair caught it, but we ended up getting a holding penalty on it. 
other than that, because that was the drive where we marched all the way down. And I, that wasn't when we turned it. Yo, that was the drive. We ended up starting like our own like five or three or something like that. It had the long, long march. And then, yeah, it fell a little bit short. That was early in the game? Was it yeah, the, it was, was early. It the Pickens fumble? Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. I was like, yo, what happened? I was like, why didn't we score? We marched. That's what it was, the Pickens play. Yeah, but that was all in that same drive. Yeah. 